In this lesson, we're going to install Joomla now. There are several options you can utilize to install Joomla. First, you can utilize the manual option by going to Joomla.org. Uh, if, you're, if you're using the default, then you can just download it and then manually install it. Uh, that's a process in itself which I'm not going to cover in this course since we're going to utilize a different method, which is utilizing the C panel. And from the C panel, you should have something like this. Any web hosting company, uh, you know, have a C panel that looks something like this. Or if it doesn't look like this, then you have somewhere that you can be able to install um, applications. And Joomla is one of those. So from the C panel, you want to scroll down where you said quick install and you click on this. Now we're utilizing the quick install method. We don't have to create any types of uh, database or anything because once you use this method, your database is automatically going to get created for you. So once you've clicked on the quick install, then you want to click where it says Joomla. And from here, you have the option to click on install. Once you click the install button, then you have the option to choose where you want to install Joomla. Now, if you're installing the, in the root domain of your website, for example, www.yourwebsitename.com, then all you have to do is just to choose the name and then put in your admin information. But for this case, since I'm going to be installing this in a separate folder or subfolder, then I'm going to create something. You can call this, you know, whatever uh, that you want it to be. So I'm just going to call this Hotel 2. And then you want to go where it says the admin. You put in the admin, the username, and the site name. And once you've put in that information, you want to click where it says Install Joomla. And then you get this pop-up here. So you can just click on the X or just click No Thanks, I am a web designer. So once you've done that, you get this message where it says oh, your install is complete. Click here to view your notification. When you click on this, it gives you a drop down for where you've installed it. And this is the location here. So once you click on it, it's going to take you there. Now, what I want to do now is just to copy this password. So I'm going to copy this. And it's, it's important that you copy the password so you can log in and you need to change it or you need to save the password somewhere. So let's go log into the back end. So once you, once you log in, you get a uh, notification like this. Ask, do you want to save the password? I'm not going to save it. So this is what it looks like. So you've successfully installed Joomla. You want to check the front end to see if it's working. So that's working. So in the next lesson, I'm going to give you a quick overview of the core Joomla uh, back end so that you have, you have understanding of exactly uh, where things are. Now, I'm not going to cover in great details about all the features and all the functionalities that this has. I have two courses that cover that extensively. All right, let's move on to the next lesson.